So I wanted to do a quick upload. I wanted to talk to you guys while I was walking. But I'm going to continue to come on here and encourage people. And regardless where you are at on your spiritual level, I'm sorry, regardless where you're at when it comes to your spiritual involvement, when it comes to your mental health, when it comes to your finances, I just want to encourage people to continue to fight. Um, when we're fighting for spiritual peace, it's almost like an addict trying to get off drugs. You're gonna go through so many ups and downs. And this is why I don't judge people that are addicted to drugs, right? Because there are people that are addicted to bad behavior. There are people that are addicted to hurting others. There are people that are addicted to hurting themselves. So all of us are addicts in some type of way. So I just want to encourage people, the ones that are trying to get clean from their negative thoughts, the ones that are trying to get clean from maybe drugs, people that are trying to get clean from trauma, you just have to keep fighting. No one's going to fight for you. Once you start fighting for yourself, you start to project that energy out into the universe and the universe will start to open doors up. That's just how it works. No one's going to come and just pick you up. Now, when you will see people coming your direction is when you really make the decision to fight. Once you make the decision to fight, like really, really fight to get clean from negativity, to fight for spiritual peace, inner peace, mental peace. Once you're, I'm, I, and I'm not talking to the people that are saying they want this, but they're not putting any effort. I'm talking to the ones that are hanging on to their life and they are fighting for something much greater. Once you put that signal out, everything will start to open up, I swear. I'm not saying this to give you a false lie or hope. I'm saying this because it's true. You project what comes to you. If you're projecting the fact that you're fighting for peace and you want to do better financially, regardless if you're working or selling jewelry or whatever it is you're doing, you'll start to see change. It won't happen overnight, but the universe will show you change enough to know to keep going. So that's why I tell people the same way I tell myself, stop judging others because they might have an addiction that you can see. Because I'm very much smarter than that. I know that there are people that have addictions that I can't see that might be worse than a person that's on drugs. You might be an alcoholic. I can see it, I can smell it on you. But this person over here is addicted to porn. This person over here is addicted to being violent. This person over here is addicted to self-sabotaging themselves. So what makes you any different? Because I can't see it. When you're a very connected and spiritual person like myself, I'm going to see it. I'm going to smell it on you the same way I would smell alcohol on an alcoholic. So this is why we have to fight so hard. But at the same time, we need to stop being judgmental as well. There's no difference between the alcoholic that sleep on the ground compared to the narcissist abuser that's driving a brand new BMW. Same shit. Addiction, demons, it's just one presents itself better. So you mean to tell me that if a demon presents themselves in a way that looks good and smells good, that you'll accept it? A demon is a demon. I'm gonna repeat that again. A demon is a demon. If that demon is sleep on the ground with throw up and alcohol compared to the demon that's driving the brand new cyber truck and has millions of dollars and looks good, it's no damn difference. And I wish you guys would wake up and understand that. Some people do, some people don't. So, <clears throat> I'm not going to hold you guys. I just wanted to drop that information. Not that I want it to all the time, but because sometimes it's just necessary to do so. You have parents that don't exist 
on this physical realm. You have parents, ancestors, family that doesn't exist on this physical planet, but they will talk to you. They will give you information, downloads, and the information is not always just for you. The information is for you to share it because if you understand humanity, then you will understand sharing. You will understand caring. You will understand not being selfish. We're in a society where we are lacking that. And I feel like social media and just other things in general, the food we eat, the entertainment music we listen to is taking us further and further away from being closer together. We all deal with something. So for people to pass judgment and feel like they're better <laughs> because they're not a bum sleeping on the ground, but you might have a bum mentality. You might have a bum heart. You might have a bum bank account. So we need to love more and judge less. I will be following up with this <clears throat> maybe later this evening with the live. But I just wanted to give this information to you guys. I'm actually leaving a group today. Um, and, uh, you know, I wanted, me personally, I wanted to put my music on while I was walking. Sometimes I like to walk and listen to music. Sometimes I like to walk and just enjoy the quietness. You know, it's early in the day. It's quiet. Most people are at work and school. But, um, you know, I had to do this upload for you guys i had to upload the download that's a good one i got a download from the universe and i had to upload it up here and i hope it reaches whoever it needs to reach and if it does drop a heart in the comment um but till next time make sure you guys are meditating make sure you guys are hydrating and most importantly make sure you are loving yourself